Is this me? Can you do your best in this? No. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <coughs> if you sit down a bit, just to be solid. Hmm. Kind of rough of me, actually. Don't tend to be late. But say, I don't like it, personally. Usually I'm the one reminding people to not be late, but... I was. I was not on my side this evening. Didn't go better, I suppose. Now, you work, you work, everything works. Ah, oh, how nice. Very nice indeed. Because that means I can actually go like... Bloop, bloop. And here we are again. Yeah, yeah. This is actually a lot better. Because I can zoom out. Nice technical view. Zoom in. Character view. And it's not in first person. Oh god, yes. This is going to be so relaxing for a full head. I mean, don't get me wrong, yes, yes, I know. For modern games look better, but still, you know. I find this a lot more sexy. Oh, gosh, yes. Where are you? I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Oh, you come to help us? Um, what so even do you mean? You don't know? Has nobody out there heard? About what? What are you talking We're about, you idiot? Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. That sounds With bad. No army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? Good question. I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Van Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. <laughs> it's not far, if you'll come with me. Sure, I'm just gonna follow it now. Ah. Oh, blessed perspective. It's just nice that I don't have to look. Somebody's eyes. Oh, won't. Then again, I did kind of say that I will finish a mission, and I didn't. And I don't like to not keep my word. I will actually do that tomorrow. And I will hate every goddamn second of it again. Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. You forget it because of no, my nice dress, eh? They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the R. Oh, I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger. Covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Yeah, Still sure. alive, yes. Though not for long if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Caelan risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Hardly. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. I don't know so how desperate he is. As well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. Oh boy, You're don't here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The that attack started bad. a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Some call them the walking dead, Ooh. decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again yeah, the next somebody night. Should Each take care night of they come with greater numbers. With Caelan dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling that everybody is the best be the friend. Yet. Alistair, Only to themselves right now. Um, I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. 
Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without our Lehman. Technically speaking, we are pretty damn fucked. Right now, I mean, there are two Grey Wardens. And we don't have an army. We don't have any troops. You, my friend. You're on the red side. He has quite a mighty chin, actually. You can see my little Mitch looking there like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, chin man, aren't you? Hmm. Um, you don't know me. I know Alistair, and I trust those he chooses to travel with. Hmm. What do you say? First, I have By questions. Isn't there a way into the, the castle? The castle is closed to us, its doors barred. We could storm it, certainly, but what would that accomplish? Our Getting to the source of the problem. Few. We cannot throw men at the castle walls when they are needed to protect the village. Why don't you just evacuate the village? I tried. Our one attempt at an organized evacuation resulted in an immediate attack. Okay. Yesterday I so found out faked. these creatures attack those fleeing on their own, even during daytime. Whatever lies in the castle wants this village dead. Would it be a good moment to mention that I just traveled into the village, then out of the village, and into the village again? No, maybe not. Okay. Once the village is safe, we will try to enter the castle to find the source of this trouble. Let me take an educated guess here, considering all we know. It's demons. I smell Anyone them already on the wind. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what happens if I refuse. I can answer that question without you, my dear Ben. They're all gonna die, aren't they? Uh, sure. We'll there are you. no dark spawn here, and nothing to gain. It is a fool's errand. What would you have leave? 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 And what about our plan to get Arleman's help? The plan was never to come and defend this village. Um. <clears throat> Perhaps. If you persuaded, Thank my friend. You. This means more to me than you can guess. You know, I'm not Honestly, as tell much of an asshole as you might fired. believe. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. But I would like some now, money for it. There is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Mm -hmm. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's mm -hmm. knights, is mm -hmm. just up the cliff mm -hmm. of the windmill, mm -hmm. watching mm -hmm. the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Uh, tell me more about This is hardly the time to be discussing personal details, don't you think? We will have to fight for our lives very shortly. Well, even better, you might die. I... I beg your pardon, my lady. Where are my manners? What would you like to know? I don't know. If Connor lives, he'll be the Arl, and I'll need to help him with it. If he's... Well, I don't want to think about that. After the first attack, I wanted to go for help, but I couldn't just leave these people. The Bannon gear mm. up to battle Loghain, while Darkspawn loom to the south. Loghain won't send anyone, so Redcliffe is on its own. Well, um, yeah, that's actually true for everybody, you know. Um, I use Kiltorio. Skilled enough to know there are many far better than myself. Hmm. Realistic perspective. I like you even more. Oh, you mean, am I married? I... no. No, I've never had the pleasure. If I did, I'd be lucky to find a woman as lovely as yourself. Oh, charmer. If I may be so bold, what of you, my lady? Are you married? Yeah, yeah, just go like, I'm a mage. Uh. I find that hard to believe. Surely that is a crime somewhere. <laughs> but I'm too bold, my lady. This is hardly the time for such banter. Please accept oh, no. my don't, apology. Don't, 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 don't worry, worry. You're too kind, my lady. Amongst many others. Yeah, I know. The dress is really fitting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Good, and my secrets are still safe. I was worried for a moment there. You mean the secret that you're gonna go back to your chambers and uh, get to be with yourself rather furiously after this? Yes, yes, sure. Um, I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. Honestly, I must say I like this guy. He has a rather realistic perspective. Sir Perth insists. He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. I don't mind, to be honest. The point of all this is on to protect one hand, the villagers. Yeah, and I good can idea. Do that best Get everybody here. into the probably the best defended building defense. you have should and hope uh, that things will actually play out as we want them to. On the other hand, if they overrun us, we are all fucked. 
not really that good. Uh. We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. I do not know. They seem to be walking corpses, men with rotting flesh that continue to attack even with the gravest injuries. I mean, all are good, but you know, corpses don't, don't uh, grow on trees. You hack them to pieces, and still they come. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Let me once again be realistic here. Yeah, corpses don't come from Let nowhere. Hello, you are mother. a stranger amongst us, and a mage. I sure, see. Sure. Yet you still defend our home in its darkest hour. We are grateful. Yeah, also I'm looking far better than you. What else? Do not fear. I am not about to raise a rabble against you. I am sure your magic will prove valuable before the day is out. Allow me to introduce myself. Mm -hmm. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge ah, for these me, poor me do. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack. Let me give you a surprising insight every last. Literally in can to sort of defend itself. Heck, give this old woman a stick and she can, technically speaking, defend herself. She might not be good at it, but she could. May the maker watch over you, child. I really hate that excuse. I know, we can't defend ourselves. What's with you? You seem reasonable, old woman. Why haven't mother and father returned yet? Because they're dead, child. Don't you worry. Hmm, you're sleeping on a book. Mind if I read that for a second? Well, apparently you I'm don't. Scared, mother. When are the bad men coming? Soon, hmm, there are people with names. Right. Should talk with people with names. Hmm, you don't care. You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wilds? I was. My husband and son went there to bring the chant of light to the chastened. Oh, you are. Uh... But I haven't heard from them since. Oh, are you Jetty? I am. You've heard of me? Read of you. Oh? Oh. oh it's lockbox. If you're bringing me this. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for bringing this to me. The, I told you I'm not heartless. Make his blessings upon you. Will we get XP for this? Probably not. Fucking hell, that's the last time I wanna do something father. nice. What are we going to do? What about you? Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll I'll try to be more quiet. My 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 name's Caitlin, my lady. Pardon me, but are you really a mage? The kind that casts spells and everything? Oh. No, you're so you're so pretty, I never thought. I mean, I never expected. Oh my god, these people are good at licking and kissing my uh, backside. Everyone Why, says like we're it. going to die tonight. I can't yeah. even sleep. I close my eyes and I see my mother being carried off. What have we hmm. done that the Maker allows this to continue? Maybe stop sitting on your fucking arm and be like, Oh, Maker, Maker, here, Maker, yeah. But don't tend to get involved all that much. See, that's what you're Um... Okay, let me try to be reasonably nice here. It's my brother Bevin. He ran off, maybe tried to leave the village. I'm so scared. Your brother's an idiot. Things got him. Um. He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand. Jesus. She's gone. I'm really I trying to make this complicated. Oh, that would be awful. Um, have you tried I went to her house. It's by the square. He wasn't there. I searched the rest of the village too. I called and I called, but he never answered. I wonder if he ran off into the woods. I'm so worried. Without me, he has nobody. If you are so worried, then maybe, instead of sitting there and crying to yourself, why don't you fucking look for help in the first place? Jesus fucking Christ, woman. What would you I, have to find him? I have nothing. Everything we owned is in our house. If you found my brother, I would be eternally grateful. Oh, please, couldn't Jesus you look for him? I'm begging Christ. you. But then again, you did try to flatter me at some point. 
Uh, so I'll think about I that. I I do. I'm just so afraid for him. I'm a flattering child. I'm not whining. Whining is not going to get you anything. But then again, it's a uh, rather common tactic against women no, to use the. the yeah, I'm so poor. I'm so sad. Please help. Oh, sure, they take the day, then I'll, you know... Oh, I mean... Hmm... Oh, there's stuff up there. It would be shame to let that be up there now, wouldn't it? <sighs> I mean, see this. I've been playing for what? Ten minutes? Maybe? Something? I'm not having a headache. Um, you just got a. Oh, right. You're not able. You're not capable. And we lost some loot, but okay. I can lift that. At least we got that evil chest open. Wouldn't want to turn that one into a demon or something. Who knows? Actually. Yeah, it's actually a bit of an interesting story. It's something that uh, a friend of mine started up one day, being like, you know, every chest you leave unopened when you're playing an RPG, it's the potential from something very, very evil. Not looking for company. Oh. Why? I don't live here. Just waiting until I can leave again. How about I'm not you fight? Something about this man's demeanor. I, uh, I don't know. I can tell you. I have no idea what you're talking about. But you do, don't you? I know spy when I see one. Yeah, Look, me too. You're very pretty and all, but I was told to uh, just leave me alone. About what? Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. Oh, I can. You don't know me yet. If I... But I never... Oh, all right, I'll tell you. Just... Just don't hurt me. See, this I'll tell you, you know. for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. Ooh. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear. A tall fellow, I forget his name, he uh, said he was working for Hal, Arl Rendon Hal. Oh god, that ass. He's an important man, Terran Logan's right hand, so I didn't do anything <sighs> wrong. That ass. Just to report any changes, honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, and you don't think that's all connected. From the castle. Jesus, either you were dumb as fuck or... I don't know, maybe that's actually a good attribute you have in a spy. If you can't put one and one together, then, well, reasonable. Here, this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it, do whatever you want with it. I, think I so. just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. I don't have to believe you. Hmm, I think you should actually help them defend tonight. Fitting. No, isn't it? <laughs> oh, all right, I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Yeah, you better do your job now. Because if I see you slacking, I might actually... Oh, you know, maybe. Maybe I forget to actually do something. Then the thing, it, it leapt right on him. Started to chew in his face. Yeah, telling horror stories right before battle. Oh, that's gonna be wonderful for moral, isn't it? Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many like travelers it. lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? Somewhat yes. Somewhat yes. Oh, you know, evil creatures, impending doom, civil war, and the Earl's dead in the castle. Makes you thirsty, don't it? So, what'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. Hmm. Name's Lloyd. So, why'd you come to the village now? 
The roads can't be all that safe, not with a war brewing. Good point. Well, you must have been mighty surprised. It's not exactly talkative these days, eh? Something else I can get for you? Fine. Make them quick. Why? When them creatures attack, I lock myself in the cellar, just batten the hatches and wait it out. What's the point in getting myself killed with all the rest of them? If that makes me a coward, then I'm a coward. He said you have to get every goddamn... But Van Tegen said we didn't have to. He said... He said... Ah, fine. He said fine, nothing. Fine, I'll go. Go fight. I approve. All who are able should fight. But all of this better be here when I get back. I don't want a place drunk out from under me. Blasted. Bloody. Hello, you. I see you got that bastard Lloyd to join the militia. It's about time he did something to help out. I guess this puts me in charge. <laughs> Poor Lloyd will have an apoplexy just thinking about it, eh? Hmm. Not much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother. Well, he's but much I think he's lying. He's a bit well, anymore. creepy. What business? <laughs> I close up, but it gives the militia a place to take their minds off tonight. Me too, I suppose. When I lock up the tavern later on, I will be. Are you fighting tonight? That's good to hear. I didn't know that. Apparently. Keep safe and come back anytime. Way to pass there. Up until near sundown. A little way to pass. What could be not good about it? I mean, look at me. I'm such a strapping young fella. I'm sure you will expect great things from me. Also, I do believe at this point in time, um, yeah, I do believe most people would actually come up with the idea that um, I'm a mage, you know, the only one in this group who doesn't wear any sort of, you know, armor or something. Yeah, I think people will get the idea. Ooh, another one with an exclamation mark. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Oh, right. You are the one who can never ever shut up about a goddamn fucking ladder. I had almost forgotten about this. Yes, what can I do for you? I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my wife. Don't sign that paper, she said. They might pay you a few sovereigns now, but they'll be back. Blast. I'll see you on the front lines, I suppose. Well, yes. I actually had forgotten that I had a quest to find the... Candidates. <laughs> Hunting week is a long, long time for my poor little memory to uh, remember anything. So what's that? Uh, is that fish? Or just, well, I guess somebody had a lot of fun carving stuff, I suppose. Hmm. Interesting. Don't you ever talk? You know, make polite conversation, just to put people at ease. You mean that I should remark upon the weather before I cut off a man's head? Never <laughs> mind. I mean, you could potentially do that. I don't think it would uh, change much, but... I guess that's the entrance. Ah, okay. Let me look if there's anything else up here. I wish... Well, these... Uh, Rather rush for though. Maybe he uh, decided to take me over all the way down there. Now oh, that's the way to the castle. Eh? You won't just leave me. Greetings, miss. No, months no, no, I can actually go to the castle. Well. That was a very short journey. Damn it. Thought I could maybe add a bit of time there, but uh, apparently I cannot. Oh, well. Yes, you can't have everything, eh? <sighs> hmm, I'm just this crazy. Oh, yeah. Burn that burning prophet, I remember. Distinctly loud, but also unremarkable. Say no more. The R lives, and I will not listen to your 
Ah, it's sort of like coming home again, but with more undead. Ooh, the windmill. I once took a ride on the sails of a windmill. Didn't turn out well. I can imagine, yeah. I don't think windmills are actually built in a way that they uh, I'll get on it. provide a nice ride. Interestingly enough. Um, anybody aware that there's uh, apparently a secret door here? Maybe I should uh, point that out at some uh, to somebody. Wouldn't have any on it in my bag. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. Good. I must admit, I do not know quite how to address you. Is my lady sufficient? As you wish, and thank you kindly. Dick I am Sir Perth, person. until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle, <coughs> or perhaps I would be dead. I oh, would, well. uh, with a great warden aiding our defense, the later. perhaps all is not lost. Yes, I know, we are legendary, um, just don't mind the small number of us. We are pretty much undefeatable here. There's some Ask questions. Whatever you wish. Um, then we go to Christmas the Christmas Eclon. sick, we were at the loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Sounds horrible. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact said to hold great healing powers. If found, mm -hmm. it might save him. According to the legend, the followers of Andraste brought her ashes back to Ferelden to hide them from the Imperium. We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware mm. of what is happening here. Oh, and just what was he sick yeah. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed mm. the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. Are you sure about that? I still kind of suspect demons, you know, just because, well... Probably because I'm a mage, of course I'm suspecting demons. The Al once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. Mm -hmm. He had proof the urn was in Ferelden. Or so I was told. Mm, no one twenty other nights. Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Red Who decided to let the attacks. fucking castle be undefended? So pretty much every goddamn last man that was capable, even trained to fight and defend the castle, was just sent away on some. Uh, oh God. Never, ever let the got a woman of faith of all things decide your plan. <coughs> you see how that ends very well. Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. And where are your soldiers? Eh? If they perished there or transformed into what would be good for you? I see. Let's fight with Spain. Me. Something. There will be no. Can I stuck with me from yesterday? Um, As you wish. We Ooh, have you sufficient some armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Hmm. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Holy protection, Otherwise, oh, I do please. not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. Let me point out, if your maker is all that great at protecting people, why are there so many under the realm? <laughs> Uh, anything else you could need. Comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Hey, I was busy collecting people from already. Um, Back in the village, of course, in front of the chantry. Yes, of course. Sure, As carry you wish, on. Make a watch over you. Also, didn't I just tell you to call me by my name, hey? Yeah. Who uh, cares? Ah, I'm just enjoying the perspective. Jesus, I think whoever first came up with the idea of first person view is uh, to be shot. You are a priest? This no, is no. just a lot the better. Of the Doesn't give me a headache Which for one. Means... I lived and worked in the Chantry, mm. but I did not take any vows. So you a lot more stuff, of course, the priesthood, then. feel oh, around no. here, isn't there? Sisters don't have the... Go away! Curse you! Curse yourself. Leave me in peace! You've already taken everything out of my scores. There's nothing left. How about yourself? I am. Uh, Alright, just don't destroy anything. <laughs> Open up.
Let's see. You just need to ask very nicely and people will let you in. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. Maybe. So, I open the door. I've got nothing of value for you. The military's taken whatever I had. Well, then how so about you go out there and fight? So if you're here to beat on a sad old man, then all I ask is you get on with it. I don't have much to live for as it is. Jesus, you are a very optimistic old man. Hmm. What do you want exactly? Mm. My girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. Jesus. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. Jesus. Bit of a fatalistic perspective you have there, old man. Why not? It's not like we're going to live past the night anyhow. Or are you going to save us? Yes, everybody but you. Ah, I think you can save yourself. Is that so? Hm. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. You know, I am uh, just want to get you out and do night. something instead of sitting here. It would be better than going to my grave wondering. Oh, good point. I'll Not try. good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. Jeez. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her, that you'll bring her back to you me. You are an annoying old man, aren't you? Ah, oh, God, if I am. Um, sure, I'll, I'll promise you. That. It's something to hope for, at least. Yeah, do something. Is this a promise we will not keep? <laughs> What's this? Shut up, Stan. I said nothing to you, human. <laughs> and I suppose there's no point in me sitting around, is there? Time to relight the forge and get the smithy going, eh? Murdoch will be pleased. And I could boy. Anything yeah. done? Well, mm -hmm. right, no, technically just let me go. Okay. I've got a lot to do mm. now, so you'll have to excuse me. Yeah. Stan disapproves. I kind of saw that one coming. Hey, I see you found more. I don't think there's anything you'll need in there, but it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush when I filled it up. Yeah, and you weren't going to um, mention it, no? Yeah, let me open it for you. I have the key. Old man, you're not making this money easy. Probably not. Now it's open and I... Come on. Come on, game. Now's better than later. Probably not the most useful stuff in the world, but I shall take it. You yeah, just stay here. If I find your daughter, I will make sure she's uh, in this uh, a small amount of pieces as I can manage. Allow me. I could do that for you. So yes, yes. let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar, no? Still no sign of them coming back from the castle. Oh, he's making a good point there. Can you imagine it? And I said one point was it. Close the brother. Interesting. What? Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Trying to avoid your goddamn ladder woman. I will have a shelf set ladder. Very, very deep where the shun down shame. Hmm. Anything else that plunder around here? Mm, nothing here. And that's it. Nice. This village is not really built with uh, a lot of consideration for the poor people who have to move around here, apparently. Oh well. And what's behind hidden door number two? I'm going to break open the lock. Nice. Kinda suspected the mage would maybe use some Wonderful. magic. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. Um, how about we choose either one or two as far as intimidation go? You're talking to a mage. You Get to what? rephrase that. In the interest of keeping my face from bursting into flame, I think I will. Good choice. Name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now, kindly tell me why you're here. Oh, you know, just looking around. 
Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. Next question. Why are you in here? And not out there? Um, you're a coward. You look more than competent. With you out there, they don't really need me, do they? Is it out there? No, here now. So, that's what it comes down to, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll go. See, you want me out there so wasn't badly. that hard now, was it? <laughs> Spoken like someone who doesn't know me very well. Yeah, no. Go tell Murdoch it was a bit ironic to call you a good man. Out there in the square <clears throat> when those creatures come. Oh, watch. You want to see me praising myself for being so good at intimidating people? I mean, I can try, but I kind of think that would look um, somewhat stupid. Ah, um, well. So, how many locked doors do we have left? Well, a not locked door. That's new. Hmm. Yes, lamp out in these barrels. Hmm. Alright, alright. I could do that. Yeah, lots of nice stuff you can do with lamp oil. For example, you can burn it. And... Yeah, fantasy knowledge goes anywhere far in this world, then I would say that the undead don't like fire. But well, well, holy stuff. You sing a great deal. Yes, I do. Oh, it's money. Music lifts my spirit. Would you like me to stop? I didn't say that. Was that part of your chant? <laughs> no. It was a ballad mm -hmm. by a highwayman mm -hmm. and a tavern girl who loved him. Oh, stuff to tell me down, oh, stuff to tell me down. Your language sounds the same to me. I thought you were singing of vegetables, actually. Yeah, Stan. Oh, a kitty. No kitty. I shall not bother you. I am, after all, busy. Now, let's talk to the man we were actually supposed to talk. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? Yeah. I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. Yeah, lots of people think so. Can't imagine why. Well, uh, that's just great. As if we weren't nervous enough as it was. Now we've got magic too. Isn't that nice, eh? We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Don't trust Name's us. Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village. Providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle. You people don't have such an optimistic outlook. Why is nobody like, well, we can do this. We're totally gonna do this. I mean, some of us might die, but we can do this, huh? You know? Um, yeah. Let's try to persuade him. I hope you're right. I've been trying to hold us See. together, but it isn't easy. Yeah. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. Apparently I am. Apparently I am. The men's spirits are high for now. Far better than I expected, to be honest. Dwin's presence yeah. makes the men a bit more confident. It helps to know a veteran is on our side tonight. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. Everything Overall, for all, I'd say months. the militia's very ready to fight. Never thought I'd say that, but there you go. Good. I just hope I'm alive tomorrow morning. Yeah, not if you continue the men to do were this. short on decent armor and weapons for a while. But Owen, the blacksmith, has started repairing our equipment. Yeah, I kind of had to talk Stubborn to him. Stubborn fool was refusing to talk to anyone only this morning. You didn't have anything to do with his change of heart, did you? <sighs> <laughs> Maybe we'll make it through this night after oh, all. Oh, he just changed on his own. The damn fool no is falling over whatsoever. drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll inform Bantigan the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. Hmm. Oh? Hmm. Ask away. We're the last defenders of them folks in the Chantry. The women, elderly, and the children. They're the ones we need to protect. Good point. The weak must learn to protect themselves. Even better point. And worthy of you, Stan. Are the Canary never in need of aid? Are you people so heartless? No Canary would ever cower helplessly. Not woman, nor elder, nor child. They would fight for their survival with tooth and nail. 
Well, we're not Kunari. I'm not asking those folk to fight monsters. But you should. No matter what happens, we can't let them evil things in there. If they die, the village is done. Hmm. There's not much time before sundown. Thanks for persuading him to come out here. He's going to be a great help. I just know it. Well, I don't know about it, but uh There's not much time before sundown. I have <clears throat> a good feeling about tonight. See. Well he should. Because you're a good for nothing. That mind. sounds a lot better, doesn't it? Uh, who could I tell to actually make use of the lamp? Uh, that would be much appreciated, wouldn't it? You shouldn't have just did that sit there, you know? I thought you were doing back there. Oh? Don't be innocent with me. What are you talking about? You playing with that kitten. There what? was no kitten. Stan, I saw you. You were dangling a piece of twine for it. What? I was helping it train. <laughs> You're a big softy. We will never speak of this again. <laughs> softy. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Nice. No one told me of this. All of you say, how much is it? Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective if used carefully. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. Have you anything else to ask me in the meantime? Uh, nope. But I will if actually you wish, ask the. Make a watch over you. What was it? Uh, uh, revered mother stuff. Thingy pop. What a blessing you wanted. I mean, it's not going to help you any, but you know, if you're feeling better about it, I'm not against that. Now for the act of the day. Too slow to hit me, idiots. <laughs> now then, uh, Mother Hannah, you. What is it you need, child? Everything. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. Yep, typical what religion. What Sapath seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Sapath believes that I can protect them against these creatures. A shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Why Does would he you? not realize that it is his faith alone which must sustain him? It is faith alone which will bring the Maker's aid. Unfortunately, he seeks the Maker's protection in a far too literal sense. He's a knight. What do this we expect? something I cannot promise nor provide. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. It is. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. Don't see it like a lie. See it more like a necessary evil. I suppose if they believed in the Maker's power, that belief would inspire them somewhat. It, it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. See? I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Nice. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. Yes, sure. I will do something like that. Oh, you have anything more for me? I hear both Murdoch and Sir Perth are ready for nightfall. Excellent news. Um... Of course. Hopefully we can find the source mm -hmm. and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find Eamon and be able to help him. Mm -hmm. Eamon would be in a better position to reward you, to be honest. And very well. Luck be with you, my friend. I would very much like some money here. Oh well. Can't have everything, I suppose. Can't have everything. Hmm, now well, let's give this rule some uh, spiel about holy protection. Oh, 
now that I think about it. At some point between now and the next week, I should actually set up the there tactic are screen. Tales of lost kings who return to their lands to reign in glory. I am lost, nor for that matter a king. And there's nothing glorious about me. You are Merrick's son. You are the rightful king of Ferelden. You actually I are. am the son of a starstruck maid and an indiscreet man who just happened to be king. Hmm. Look, I can't be king. Some days I have trouble figuring out which boot goes on which foot. Complete fools are made leaders of kingdoms all the time. And you're not a complete fool. I think so. What an utter relief. And don't worry about the boots. Kings don't need to dress themselves. That's what advisors are for, isn't it? And starstruck maids, apparently. Well, uh, yeah. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. That's good. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Must we do this? The faith that will protect these men must come from their heart, surely. If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. I will send some men to collect <laughs> the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... No, no, I have... Uh, um, mm -hmm. I'm more than ready. Good luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all. Now oh, let's see these undead creatures of yours. Don't disappoint me, please. Ooh, spooky. Oh, so that's how it looks from their perspective. Becca! Get to your positions! <laughs> yes. Make ready! You're running through the fire. That's not really a good choice. Fire. Not a good idea. The monsters are attacking from the lake. They're attacking the barricades. We need help. Come on, we need to hurry. Sure, sure, sure. Can you give me a second bird? I would very much like my guys to heal a bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Jesus, you are a patient little one. I don't much about that. Yeah, let's just go in there and really, really flash some of them that. Also, maybe a few uh, finish up along the way. Okay. 
Oof, they missed it. Quite literally. I do you think it's a good idea to attack me? That's not a very good idea. I'm just gonna ask once again, just how many of you idiots are gonna stand in my way? Not like that changes anything, you know? Damn walking corpses. Well, I'm somewhat of a use, don't you worry? But don't forget, if you die, you do it. What a good cause. Well, what a good cause is, that is. That is. Then finally arrived. So give me a bit of my life energy back, please. Yeah, he needs 200 more of this. We can do this for a very, very long time if we need to. Hours later, we are still doing the very exact same thing. Are you not inside yet? God, it doesn't matter now, does it? How does this evening find you? Dear to the people of the world. Oh, we did it. I know. And we survived the night. We are victorious. Nice. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. Yes, I'm good. I thank you, dear lady. Truly, the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. <laughs> Surely these people deserve some small celebration, don't you think? There is time yet. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Now they walk with he who is their maker. Dum -dum. Long may they know the peace of his love. With the maker's favor, the blow mm -hmm. we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Yes. Fine, we're now, getting somewhere. No time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. I suppose you're gonna tell me about the secret passage, eh? Because you're an idiot. I'm still amazed we made it through the night in one piece and one. They'll be telling stories about this for years, I bet. Yeah. Fighting's not over. We still have Darkspawn to battle, and if the Arl sends out the call, I'll be there for him. Noise. <coughs> no offense, but I've lived under the Arl my whole life. I'll fight when he calls me, or when I absolutely need to, and that's it. Well. If you'll excuse me, I think I'll offer the Maker a bit of thanks for not choosing to be a wrathful god today. Good luck to you. Uh. Oh, it was fools. So we won the battle? Mm. Yeah, excuse me. If this is what war is like, with so many people hurt and dying, I don't want to think about what fighting the dark swarm will be like. It's gonna be even worse. Tegan or Al Eamon will be calling for volunteers soon, won't they? They'll need an army to fight in the south now. Yeah. I'll go when they call me, I guess. I'm going to get drunk first, though. You'll excuse me. 
I can kinda get where you're coming from. I mean... Courage doesn't really grow on trees. And, uh... Actually, lots of soldiers actually, uh... Needed a bit of, a uh, liquid courage to do their first battle. I get it. Thank you so much. Phew, some fight. Reminds me why I left Orzammar in the first place. Mm -hmm. Constant fighting. A warrior's life there is blood, ash, and dust. Though I'm not sure who's dirtier. These creatures are darkspawn. Rebuild. Same thing I intended to do before. Except this time, there's more humans left alive to help. First mm. thing I'm gonna do is get some sleep. For about a week. Go celebrate or whatever it is you're gonna do. You won, right? You're a hero. Or uh -huh. something. Yeah, I know that feeling. Sometimes it's just... Uh, we just need to lie down and uh, stay in your bed for a week. Then you wake up 10 hours later and be like, shite, I have stuff to do. Really not that uncommon. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Mages Collective Liaison. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. Uh -huh. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. The Collective is a self-policing guild of mages who simply want to be left alone. We mean no offense to the Chantry, but we would rather live on our own terms. Pretty Next understandable. To me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. You be me. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. Mm, sure. I should have been a figure, but my daughter didn't go on and the entropy broke it himself. The task came to see my... blah blah blah. We went on a long road from the ring to Denerim. Sure. It's a green man of a green new potions of the night commander Harris Redcliffe. And what they will bring me ten bundles of deep mushrooms, and I quest for enlightenment. Blah blah blah, scones of Benister. Chop, I'll take you on. The client is very pleased. Come back soon. Good to see you again. Yes, did. Yes, I'm such a nice person. Well, as long as I get paid. Super duper duper nice. Just make sure to pay me. You really don't want to not pay me. Believe me. Freeze the weeds. Doing a trip to dinner. Something visual. Sure. Make us blessings upon you, Lord. Jesus, suddenly everybody got quests for me. You people are fucking annoying. The deep dark before dawn's first night seems at ease, but no one's sun was rising. Everybody is suddenly going to like, what, 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 who wanna get your blast? I'm not gonna wanna wanna, I don't. I don't wanna deal with this. No, oh, I didn't even click on it anymore. There are many gone who we must honor. Sure. Good day. Many, many, many people. I don't even think so many died. I think we did a pretty decent job at stopping that from happening. Alright, this is gonna get annoying, so... Uh, let's get this up. What do I want? 
an earthquake. Death cloud. That sounds nice. In the future. Shrink prison. Building through the duration of some shattering doors that have petrified frozen soldiers. Stunning enemies. Hmm. Crushing prison does sound nice. Mm -hmm. Let's go for a more classical approach here. At least for the time being. The end is upon us. The dead rise and Yes, yes, uh, you know, everything is over. We're all dead. Good to see you in one piece. D do you have news of Elena yet? Well, I'll give it some time. Mm -hmm. Now's the best time to go into the castle, though, and see for yourself. Remember, a promise is a promise. Yes, yes. I shall find do that. Elena. That's all I want. I will find it, don't you worry. Maybe she will be strewn across the floor in a few pieces, but not really a problem, is it? Now then, I do believe Lloyd survived. Uh, got anything you to say to me? I admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. Yeah. Anything I can get you? Keep safe and come back anytime. I won't lock up until near sundown. Let's celebrate and all of that. What's a darkspawn look like? Worse than those things we fought? I don't know how I survived that damnable mess out there. But I did. I suppose I owe you thanks. The men respect me now. I would never have gone out there if you hadn't shoved me. It feels good to help out. As much as it pains me to have a woman say that, I suppose I do. <laughs> Listen, a soldier gave me this trinket some years ago as payment for his tab. He said it was magical. I didn't believe him then, but I think it helped keep me alive Ooh. out there. You should have it. It might do the same for you sometime. Yes, well, don't go spreading news that I gave you something for free. Then everyone will want something from me. Only for real, I'm not going to be back. Just give Don't me stuff. Battle again anytime soon. Know what I mean? I've got a cousin in the Templars. He says the mages in the tower out on Lake Kalanhard are all turning into demons. They always say that, though. Well, this time yeah, they do. If you believe the Chantry, every goddamn mage is turning into demon right about now. And now. Right now again. See? At this point, with all demons. Isn't that horrible? Oh, right, the other one's also got that level up. You, my friend, you will need more power in your future. I can already tell you that much. I was shooting for an anomaly, I was not taking any reason shield defense. It was this one, wasn't it? And we have bravery. Number of enemies. He does just require levels. Mm -hmm. takes damage, yeah, but that's not really useful now, is it? Not sure is what you want to go for. Uh, 22 cunning. Okay, so I need to actually give you some more cunning. You should also have 20 willpower. Mm hmm. And for weapons, means that you should the chance of sun, your opponent would you show white behind the blow. Sounds useful. If she's definitely getting so much time, it's golems and other constructs. We're gonna see that many constructs. Just yet. I'm sure we're gonna meet some along the way. Hmm. 
bring you here. I think it's time we go to the castle and actually see what's going on. What sort of madness. And horribleness. Deafness and all of that. I think we're just gonna walk in and everything's gonna look very, very normal, isn't it? It is sad to think of how much death there has been here. But we have saved the village beyond all expectations. You have done well, my friend. I will I. remain here to guard the village and receive any fellow knights as they continue to return. At least until the castle is retaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and your bloody castle. <coughs> Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was oh, nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. Dum, dum, there dum. is a secret passage here in the mill, accessible only to my family. Yeah, yeah, I already saw that. I had no idea what lurked in the castle, and I couldn't abandon the people of the village. What if... You were just afraid. Take his breath. Tigan. Thank the maker you yet live. Isold. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? Questions or questions? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. Okay. And I need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. What? What? Uh, who is this woman, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Soul, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? Well... They are Grey Wardens, Isold. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isold, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. Yes. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The maid responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. Horrible, isn't you must it? help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Mm -hmm. What about he the young? He is being kept alive so far thank the maker kept alive yeah kept good alive question something the mage unleashed so far it allows him and connor and myself to live the others were not so fortunate it killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares horribleness Once it isn't was it done with the castle it struck the village yeah we all it slaughtered them so long, but i do not know why allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. <laughs> I... I do not know. Oh, See? Maker's mercy. I am suspecting Could it truly demons. be a demon? I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. That's a very, very bad plan. He is an infiltrator, I think. One of the castle staff. Hmm. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? Are you sure about it? He claims an agent of Terran Loganes hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. Hmm. I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. It is. But not if it's true. The evil I cannot fathom holds my son and husband hostage. Came for help. What more do you want from me? Answers. Tigan, Truthful answers. I do answers. not have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying it? It could kill Connor. Please come back with me. Must I beg? For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. I will go sake. in there. Oh, believe me. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. 
I will return to the castle with you, Isol. That's not a good idea. Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tiger. Bless that you. That woman is really, really annoying. I'm not certain, to be honest. I cannot let Isol return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this yeah, is my is. family. I must try. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Yes, so, and yeah. Can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. God damn, that woman is annoying. I sure hope I can do something about that in the future. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Nice. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed what do you say risky i wish i knew i don't know any more about this evil force than his soul seems to sir perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle <laughs> entrance if you can open the gates from within they can move in and help you i don't think there's anyone else who can help you if you choose not to go then it's up to me to do what i can here is my signet ring it will open the lock on the door in the mill Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. Nuts. <clears throat> well, you are understand. Brave I'll as do well my as beautiful very best. Seems. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. <clears throat> if only this had been... So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. Yeah. One fool plan on top of another. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Oh, believe me, Stan, I'm very well aware that that is a very, very, very bad plan. Amongst the level that I have seen, not many others. But... What am I to do? Mm. I locked myself in a cage once when I was a child mm. for an entire day. Ah, uh, good times. I wonder who built this tunnel. Who knows? It's the undead again. It's always the undead, isn't it? Mm. Sadly, he didn't. Yeah. Kill it. Hello? Is there someone out there? Who is it? Oh god for sake. By all that's holy you. I can't believe it. Yeah, me neither. And here I thought this couldn't get any worse. Brilliant. Go on, have a go at me if that's what you want. Gloat away. I shall. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for enlightening me. I didn't realize nothing was kicking Jowan in the gut when he's down. I sense some bitterness. No, not at all. What reason would I have to feel that way? It's not like you betrayed me, lost me the love of my life, and got me thrown out you of the circle. You used fucking blood magic, I've been you running asshole. Since I last saw you. I've slept in ditches, in rotten logs, in the rain. I've gone hungry for weeks. I was lost. Utterly alone. You expect me to just forget this happened? You're a black I made mage. a mistake, all right. I admit it. I dabbled, and I've been paying for it ever since. And I'm so tired. That's your own fucking fault. Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. <laughs> You're right, I should have. But please, just tell me if she's all right. Oh, my poor Lily, she must hate me now, if she even lives. Oh, well, come on. I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? You responsible? I, I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. 
I was already imprisoned when all that began. At I first, Lady stop image. Sold came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So ah, bloody hell. me to rot. I was instructed to by Terran Logain. Nice. I was told that Arl Aemon was a threat to Ferelda. That if I dealt with him, Logain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. Ooh. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. You want Maker, to eat I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. Yeah, why don't you I bloody kill yourself, God damn it. it. I just want to make everything right again. God damn it. Why wouldn't I? I was desperate, and this is Terran Logain we're talking about for Andraste's sake. Why wouldn't I believe him? Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Why, well, yes. Connor, a mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no That's idea. That's a very bad idea. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could mm -hmm. kill or create those walking corpses. <clears throat> it would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. True enough, She's yeah. also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. Oh, bloody brother. Let's check it. See, everybody hates mages. I mean, apart from me, of course, because I'm looking good at it, but... No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son. And yes. that infuriated her. Son, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor oh. spell, never mind uh. something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Yeah, but if a demon took over, yes. Like I said, yes. he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all... I really don't know. Hmm. The Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. You are. You idiot. I'm just sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. You broke your word to me back at the tower. I think you owe me. Help me I fix owe you this. nothing, asshole. I'm still the same Jow and you knew. If if you're still the same friend I once had, I'm hoping you'll help me do what I know is right. I say kill the mage, he cannot be trusted. Good point, Stan. Doesn't need to die, surely. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? He's your friend. You know him best. Give me a chance, please. Jesus. <sighs> So how will you make things right? I, well, I try to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. Isn't it a little late for that? I don't think it will redeem me, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't try. And after that? Afterwards, I assume I'll be arrested, or executed, or whatever people like me get. I'm sorry I lashed out at you earlier. I wanted to blame someone for what's happened to me, but I know you had your reasons. A part of me knew right from the beginning that I'd have to face the consequences one day. I knew I'd be caught, eventually. Yes. Everything I've done has just delayed the inevitable. I'm done with running and hiding. I need to account for what I've done. <sighs> That's commendable. I'm glad you think so. So what now? Ah, well, I kind of did screw you over to get a potential promotion at the start, so yes, okay, I will give you a chance. Letting me out? And what then? Hmm. Uh, you come with me. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger, exactly. Would you rather I kill you? I... no, I don't want to die. I guess you'll do what you have to, and so will I. 
Hmm. Vamos lá. If you change your mind, I will be here. John, you're an asshole. You know, I gave you a fair chance. I see. What now, then? I understand, and I accept it. Do. See, I gave you a nice chance to join me, to. just like I did in the beginning. Very well. One less loose end. Hmm, stand approved actually. Nice of you, stand to approve. How, how do I get in the plunder you? Got it. Damn it. I'll get on it. It has not put in, it has not put in, it has not put in. Joven reminds blissfully on um unlootable. Damn it game. You took that loot right from me, didn't you? Now's better than later. Okay. Okay. Oh, this to the place as well. into rice. I'll get on it. Da -da -da -da. Got it. Well, at least they've got some money. That's good. I like money. Now's better than later. Now let me take a look here. This looks like a quick chamber. Do I see demons? I see demons. The lesser shades. So nothing I know the world about. Lesser shade. Maybe something I will feel a bit more. Oh. So far, so good. Nothing too horrible. Are you a mage? Proxy. Proxy boy. Just stop casting shit at my people. Many people don't like that. You're undone. Because I can. Hmm. Nice. I see lots of stuff. Now I don't remember some parts of this, but I'm not really sure. For now, at least. Now's better than later. You have kind of disappeared on your very own. Hmm. No, nothing there. Like oh, I'm not going to send a front line of that. Lingerst. Like, no, 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 no
what's going on with the lag. No one, no one, no one. <clears throat> oh, dead. Jesus, I need no mana. When I think about it, why don't we activate actually flaming weapons? Make everything more vulnerable. Hmm. Deep mushrooms. I hear dogs. The dog's still alive. I mean, that's a good sign. Can I get you a you can get off my back. Yeah, but then let our woman. Why oh, yeah, are you attacking me? Why bodies? We could have been friends. In fact, we should choose the path of death. Jesus, I need more mana. Apparently, <coughs> I'm also dying. Bandages for you. Bad woman. Hmm, why well the dog is eating from the dead corpse? Maybe that could explain something. Now, um. This one. And this one. Ooh, trap wire. I get XP for that. I do. You need something. Hmm. You know, I'm a mage. I'm not supposed to stand in the front line. No, he's enraged. Nobody cares. Yeah, you hit that right, right. Nobody cares about you. And what's behind door number two? More undead. Door number three. Aha. That's the person. I'll get on it. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? You want your fucking ladder, woman. All right, all right. One point in the future, I swear to God. <gasps> Please, don't hurt me. I, I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. Terrible. My, my name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. I, is she? All right. What don't happened go. to everyone? <laughs> You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? Mm. But, but the monsters. Mm. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Ah, I'm actually keeping promises now. And I will boy. Well, let's just hope that I got most of the monsters actually. Hmm, now that goes to the second floor. There's the courtyard. And there's a cell. Ah, oh, I'm interested in the cell. Oh, Jesus. This looks horrible. This looks like something we would want to. What a fire! They kind of pissed off a lot of them. Maybe they didn't like the fire. Who knows? Who really knows? Who really knows? Can I get you a 
get you a ladder so you can get off my back. I don't believe me, I will get off the back. I've said a ladder. And then I will shove said ladder. Somewhere very unhealthy and not meant for a ladder to be inserted into. Ah. Go on. Allow me. I could do that for you. You shall be allowed. Do it. Got it. <laughs> So much stuff. Where does this go? To the courtyard. Got it. Apparently. Keep loading, 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 loading. <laughs> what? what are you attacking? Are those? Can't do Alistair alone. He has to fight them off. But then comes the stand. It's there. Yeah, you should probably focus on that one. Because he seems like a pain. Jesus, that guy is... Uh what tougher than I told? Oh, that we did kill him. I'll get on it. Oh, more stuff for me. to the courtyard. Let's see where we end here. Hmm, I'm expecting bad things. Very bad things. So, I'm in the castle again. Well, that's good. Nice. He's pretty good at what he's doing. Hmm. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... This is a woman, Connor. Just as I am. You lie. This woman is nothing at mm. all. Like Why just look at her? Half your age and pretty too. I'm surprised you don't order her executed in a fit of jealousy. <laughs> Connor, I beg you, don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker. Connor, Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman. You are beginning to bore me. No, I understand you. Please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he, he does. He is an abomination. No! Don't say that! Well, it's true, isn't Connor it? I didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. 
Connor was just trying to help his father. It was a fair deal. Father is alive, just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody Jesus. tells me what to You're do. ambitious, aren't you? Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody. <laughs> Quiet, uncle. I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. Jesus. This woman will have the audience she seeks. Tell us, woman, what have you come here for? Well. So you're a concerned well wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All the sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. Isn't it? Isn't it? But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I. I don't think. Yeah, you don't of think. Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now she'll repay me. Yeah, it's a lot of you. <sighs> you really want to mess with me? That's not a good idea. Guards are really not a match here. Hello. I have no problem talking to potentially innocent people. You underestimate me. Oh, how much you underestimate my willingness to do bad things. I just killed everybody. No, oh, I thought they didn't kill you. Are you alright? I am better now, I think. My mind is my own again. That's good. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Really no. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. <sighs> I... yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. I do not know if we can save him. Demons do not listen to reason. I don't tend to. always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him and sometimes he breaks through. Please. I just want to protect him. Jesus. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide oh, it, Oh, yeah, you see how good that is working, eh? I think he ran upstairs to the family quarters. Hmm. Violence scares him. I, I know that sounds strange. He may have run up to his room, or... I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child but he's an abomination mm -hmm. i'm not sure there's any choice we can't kill a young boy demon or no demon please don't say we're considering that connor is my nephew but he is also possessed by a he demon. is yeah that's a problem death would be merciful no what what about the mage he could know something of this demon. If he still um, lives, we could speak to him. Well... Can we do nothing else? I do not know. You are a mage. Is there no magic that would help Connor? Well... Hmm... Well, let's actually try that around. The demon is within Connor, is it not? You know, you have no idea how this works now. So you can enter the Fade? And kill the demon without hurting my boy? Neither of which we have. 
I understand. Can we do nothing else? Hmm. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, <laughs> after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mages' help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. Sure, I'm sure it is a greater end of the disaster anyway. So I guess you could say there's really nothing to lose. Isn't that great? Ah. Oh, have I actually looked at anything here? Uh, everything here. Because I shouldn't go to the second floor. Ah, oh, where is it? There is it. Who actually said that up? The designer here, the interior designer. Super armor, really. Ah. So, why is target of uh, that? Maybe I shouldn't do so much damage. Also, is Alistair dead? Did the right way here? Yeah, most likely not. Give me a bit more life, please. Jesus, you take long to kill something. I guess missing doesn't really help. Mm. This was definitely not good. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Oh, it's a Chamberlain. Yeah. Oh, not Chamberlain, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a few more corpses there. Nothing to worry about. Now Chamberlain, do anything? Hmm, a world key. Who knows when I can actually make use of that? Maybe. Allow me. I could do that for you. Nice. Allow me. I could do that for you. Still nice. Very nice indeed. Actually, somewhat of a clear objective, eh? And so I can now probably let the knife, the the, the, the nighty boys out, side inside. Oh, that be lovely. Hmm. 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 Well, after we sit through the loading time. Please hold the line. Hmm, now it's open. Why are the knights? Ungrateful bastards probably went back and now oh, they say they can run somewhere and just uh, doing shit at. Ah. Yeah, sure. Annoying little prickies. Fire. I want to have fire. Now you have 20 willpower. That's good. And um, also, didn't I need you to have 25 strength or something? There was something. Ah, this one. Jesus, you need dexterity too. I think I kind of need to do something about that. 
Ja, jetzt zum Brett. Okay, boah, ähm, no power. So und. Schild kommt das Mädchen damit das mal fischen. Wir werden mal so schön spielen. Bla bla bla. Bravery. That sounds good, because we're usually fighting more than two. Caravan, refugees, battlefield, little ring. We killed and had dogs. So much stuff on my map. Let's go to the major then. Also, we are apparently traveling all the way around. And we're getting stopped, don't we? So, if you grow bigger, you have, haven't you? Bing. Somebody actually stupid enough to stop us. Oh boy. Why do I smell the trap? Was it this one? Yes, it was. Rough travels out here, eh? We even saw Darkspawn on the way in. Right, Darkspawn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We killed a whole band of them on the way up from Lothering. We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? I'm here to stop you. <laughs> I thought you said... Wait. You're serious? I am. Dead you look serious. pretty tough, but we just fought Darkspawn. I think we can handle a few losers in armor. You Let's think? see what you've got. You really think so? Oh, dear, bro. I mean, at least if you did not play. Stupid. Oh, I see you have a match back there. I don't think you liked it. Oh, he did heal a bit, but it's not going to help you. Wow. Bit of a massacre there. I don't know why I murdered you. But I did. A bit too late to complain. Ah, this isn't it. Don't worry, me. <laughs> Pretty naked. Pretty naked, haven't I? <laughs> Oh, oh, well, that ends well, I guess. Now we can finally finish our little journey. Ah, isn't that nice? Well, and a while later. The lots of loading. We are. Where we begin. Right. Isn't that funny? Ironic, even. Hmm, that's apparently there's a Templar. Now's better than later. You ever wonder why the mages built their tower out in the middle of Lake Kalanad? They have an aversion hmm? to practicality or something. How deep is this lake? You, you have some kind of problem. I have. Oh, what is this about? Oh, I see. Tauren must have sent you. Oh, I no. refuse to answer to a pawn of Tauren. Come, men, to arms! That's really not a good idea, my friend. I mean, I know you people don't know me. Yeah. I tried to be merciful. <laughs> Let's just try again. Ah, some people just never learn. I'm gonna just stone fist to the face. Ah. 
Oh, I'm sure we could have solved this reasonably well without violence. But you know, what's the fun in that? <laughs> don't, don't mind me, I'm just, you know, doing the usual, just picking stuff up. Who are you? Wow, well, look at this. I remember taking you across when you left with that fella Duncan. Oh. And now you? you're a Grey Warden. My pup used to tell me stories about them. Cool, aren't we? Templars took the boat. Shite. Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester, we got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. Yeah, and then sounds he puts really Carol reasonable. in charge of my boat. Lissy, named for my grandmum she was. I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. Well, good if point. I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. It's a tower full of magic. We really expect that it has nothing to do with magic. <sighs> you could try swimming, but I don't recommend it. Nasty things in that lake. I reckon it's all them potions they dump in there. Gregor's <laughs> told me to Does stay someone? here till it blows over. But I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe you could at that. I'm sure your mind's all afire now, eh? Hmm. I reckon it's good for them mages. Gather them all, learn them some proper magics. I know what they say about mages, but the Maker made them for a purpose. If you can't trust him, who can you trust? Yourself? <laughs> oh, I can't say that. I'm lucky he's good enough to give me the time of day. The first enchanter's all right. He's polite as can be, but he's always a little distant if you get my drift. But Gregor will stay to talk. I reckon he likes hearing from us common folk, you know? He's a man hmm. to be respected, that Gregor. All right. Keep safe, you hear? Sure. I'm, I'm, I'll be managing that. I'll get on it. Um, yeah. More quests. You people have a surprising amount of jobs. The client is very pleased. Come back soon. Is he? Good to see you again. Got it. Well, lucky for me that I don't care. Eh? Now, there's a the tavern. There's probably stuff inside. I'm gonna take that stuff. I'm not gonna do the um, uh, bubble um, circle. Not today, at least. Hmm, shady. What are you looking at? What are you Can a man at? drink and peace? Good day, and welcome to the spoiled princess. Is there something I can get for you? Oh. It was my father's idea. Hmm. He ran the inn before me, and he named it for my sister. She was his little princess. Hmm. Princess decided the country was too dull for her and moved to Denerim. More glamorous, she said. Hmm. Well, she was found murdered, robbed of all the trinkets my father bought her with his hard-earned money. My father died of shock and heartbreak. Mother stopped eating, and I got the struggling in. The name stuck. That's a story. Good to know. Of course. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. I will let you know, don't you worry. But first, there's a chest here. Allow me. I could do that for you. And then do it. Allow me. I could do that for you. Jesus, <laughs> would you please do it then? Instead of sitting around. Good Who day. You? Do I have anything in my inventory I want to sell me? Perhaps, yes, I have lots of stuff. Now that I'm looking at it. We have something nice for my little magi. Mm, ropes of the gifted. Reduce the hostility. How do you look? Yeah, <laughs> well. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, doesn't seem like anything good for me. Hmm. Yeah, you don't really need more strength now, do you? Um. What do I have equipped on you? Hmm. That do requires a bit more strength than you right now have, my friend. Right. That would be 
an upgrade. Mm -hmm. Seems like a nice set of armor. How is that one? Compare, let live comparatively. It is better. I mean, you're losing two constitution, but. And that looks cool. I'll take it. Oh, it's for you. Mm. This one is actually better. Oh, we should keep it light. That would probably be better. I forgot to look for weapons. Um, mm -hmm. Without longsword. Um, meditation. Oh, what? It fits. That's all we really need to care about. Uh, more damage, but you're losing a lot. Oh, let's stay like this. For you, do I have a big sword for you? Bigger, bigger, bigger sword. Oh, no, I don't actually think I have. Hey, look, he can actually wear the Brazzard helmet. Mmm, evil. I like it. That doesn't give you anything. That would do you good. That not so much. Hmm, I don't think I have anything else to give you. Just any boy. Now you needed more cunning, wasn't it? What did I need that you have more cunning? Master stealing. Even during combat. Right, that's why I needed more. 22. The archer. Well, that would be useful. Considering how often I find myself very close to my. Welcome back to the spoiled princess. How may I serve you today? Of course. What would you like? Well, lots of stuff actually. I'd be surprised by the amount of shit I would like to have in my life. Let's keep those for the moment. You go away. You go away. Oops, large breeds. Spell. You are nervous anyway. But I can't save you. Good. Quartz. Greenstone. I don't even know. Not. I'm sure I can get more of those. It's not really my fault. So. Uh, okay, let's actually. Why can't I sell this? What's your problem? Jeez. You are useless, aren't you? Useless innkeeper. If all else fails, go for the eyes. Good plan, basically. Not against that. The injury actually bad. Penalty to nature resistance when you're in the injury kit. Not that bad. You. 
Wird dir der Moon mit? Ew, what will the moon mit? Have a good chance for me to actually go back to the camp. You know, take care of some of uh, these injuries. So there is a mage and I can actually add uh, mage it. Merge it. Something you created. Mage it. And I would like to have my inventory empty when I enter the tower. You and your friends are formidable folk indeed. It's good to have you along on I'm sure you'll be pleased with the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's go to scout. Oh, I sure hope so. Sell that shit, keep the gifts for later. Sell all the peace stuff. I'm pretty sure I can get more of it. What's the difference? Oh, that one's definitely better. Uh, yeah, let's keep that. And that. I like to keep valuable stuff. Who knows when you will use it? Oh, that's that. Can we go to my nice little storage and just put stuff in there? Be everything, isn't it? And I really don't like them like they don't. And the good old days. I like that. I don't like the books before I forget again. Me die, mana. I'm sure those were actually rather nice. I think the energy increase here. This line was nice though. I don't remember. I really want to learn heal. Very often I actually need to use that goddamn stuff. Ah. Let's move again. And you. Yes, yes. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> There's a good place. You know, I can use FK. Nice. And with that I shall end it peacefully. He should get a nice flank strange. Ah. And looking forward to those mages. I smell more demons. Ah, not really surprising. And so I shall beat you. Adieu.